Hey everyone, it is Danny, and I hope that you're all having a really wonderful day thus far. And so in this update video, we'll be taking a look at the latest on what is going on across the Caribbean. So we'll be taking a look at the different satellite maps, and we'll also be looking at other factors such as uh, that water vapor map as well as the temperature anomaly map and also guys in terms of the quiz that i posted in the community section of my channel if you haven't seen it or you haven't yet voted your answer you can go ahead and do so and i will of course uh discuss the correct answer thoroughly in my next update video so it's not going to be this current update video but the one that is going to be after this but in terms of what is happening right now across the region before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't done so already and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update okay and so guys let us go ahead and kickstart things with what is happening across the region so we're looking at the infrared satellite and we're seeing that there isn't too much although there is some scattered convection noted across sections of the central caribbean coming up from the south and uh, we also see those areas of a lot of cloudiness moving in from the atlantic so that's likely uh resulting in maybe some overcast skies or even some showers across sections of the eastern caribbean Caribbean. And as we head more towards the west over to the vicinity of Jamaica, there is quite a bit of activity that is noted uh, where the island is. And so looking at a closer view, we definitely see here that we have all this activity making its way in. But of course, there is nothing major that is noted as of right now. We don't see those uh, any major convection, any deep convection right now in the Caribbean. And that is indicated by uh, those orange, red, and burgundy shades, so, but we're not seeing that burst of color uh, at this time in the region. So that is simply indicating that there is no major rainfall activity at this time in the basin. But as for Jamaica, all this activity that is making its way across the island is likely to result in some showers here and there as we progress throughout the rest of today. And uh, of course, as I said, nothing intense or nothing major is expected. And so uh, looking at the simulated infrared satellite so this is what the satellite could look like so it's just a forecast of what could happen as we head into the next uh, few days here and so we're seeing that the GFS is expecting some increased act some increased activity in the vicinity of Central America mainly in the vicinity of Panama thereabout and also going over into uh, Colombia and then we see that all this activity is going to be pretty much dominant across the western Caribbean but again no intense areas of deep convection is noted and so uh, nothing major anticipated there but let's go ahead and look at the total accumulated precipitation map from the GFS and also the Euro so let's see how much rainfall is expected as we're going to be heading into Friday so this is the GFS here and of course over to the right side of your screen is the key so the different colors indicate different totals of rainfall in inches so those numbers that you're seeing are in inches and we're seeing here that uh, throughout the Caribbean, the areas expected to receive the most rainfall between now and Friday include the northwestern Caribbean, but specifically the Yucatan, Belize, and also over into Guatemala, as well as uh, just off Costa Rica and Panama, uh, just in the southern Caribbean Sea, right, where we're seeing those lilac shades. So that is what is anticipated, guys. In terms of rainfall, we see those shades of greens here and there across the majority of the region. So nothing intense is expected in terms of rainfall so uh that's a plus no intense rainfall activity although i know that some areas might be longing for some well-needed showers for a good cool down so looking at the euro though let's take a look at what the euro is expecting here and we're seeing that the model is showing something a little bit similar but it is expecting a bit less rainfall in the southern caribbean but we're definitely still seeing those totals and just a reminder guys this is between between now and Friday so it's not all anticipated in just one day or in a short period of time so something similar as I said where we're seeing uh, the most rainfall expected in the South Caribbean and Northwestern Caribbean and as for the rest of the region maybe just some pop-up showers here and there and so guys now let's go ahead and take a look at the water vapor map and we're seeing here that of course all those bright colors those yellows and oranges and those indicate dry air meanwhile we're seeing the 
uh, those whites and those greens that is indicating moisture. And so uh, we're seeing that in the central Caribbean where we have that bit of activity taking place, there isn't too much dry air that is noted within the area. But for the rest of the region, we definitely see all that dry air being quite dominant. And where we have an abundance of dry air is typically where we won't see too much in terms of rainfall activity. So uh, this is going to be the story for the next couple of months really across the Caribbean region. But of course, as we progress into summer when the ocean or the sea surface temperatures increase and there is more evaporation taking place, then there is going to be a lot more activity in terms of rainfall taking place across the Caribbean. But uh, in the early part of summer, that's also going to be the time when we have that surge of Saharan dust moving across, Afri moving across Africa and heading to the Caribbean. And so that is going to be helping to suppress any major rainfall activity and also tropical development as well. So let's see what that time has in store. But of course, that isn't really something to be concerned about at this point in time. So back to what's currently happening across the tropics, nothing major and just some increased rainfall here and there. And in terms of temperatures, so we're looking at the GFS temperature anomaly map here and we are seeing that, uh, of course, we have the different colors, the cool colors which is those blues the shades of blues go into those purples that is indicating below normal temperatures and on the right side of your screen it's showing how much below normal for example where we have minus 1.5 that is 1.5 degrees celsius below what is typical of the region at the time meanwhile of course the warmer colors those yellows oranges reds they indicate above normal temperatures so this is what the gfs is expecting for early summer Sunday and we're seeing that we see some blues across sections of the Caribbean which is indicating that some of those regions uh, some of those areas might uh, experience some cooler temperatures as we're going to be kickstarting the new week and final few days of January. So uh, that is what is expected, guys. We're not seeing any deep or those dark blue shades, I should say, that would indicate a significant temperature drop. So nothing very intense is expected. But of course, uh, that temperature drop, that slight drop, maybe a degree or two below what is this normal, uh, that might bring some good cool down to some areas especially as we head to the late evenings and early morning hours so that is what is on the horizon for the next couple of days guys in terms of the expected precipitation as well as uh, that slight temperature drop and of course I hope that you found this video to be quite informative and if you did please leave a like and of course you can share your thoughts in the comments and remember to always be weatherwise.